We know they already have Volvo under their belt. Why would they now go for a bigger stake in Daimler? Uh, I think to me it's not really um, for automotive, for passenger automotive. Okay. It's actually really for commercial vehicles. Um, and in China, if you look at China, you know, e-commerce activity has picked up. If you look at how, you know, the recent flurry of Tencent acquisitions mm. in Yonghui and VIP shop, uh, that's a good signal that uh, e-commerce activity, logistic shipping activity is on a rise. And there's a greater need for commercial vehicles, uh, uh, specifically heavy trucks. Um, in China alone, there's about a million heavy trucks sold. That, that pales. I mean, that's way above well, how many there are in the U.S. You're talking about 300 to 400,000 in the U.S. So it's a really big market for China. And, you know, Jillian wants to be part of that. Um, and I think with, the, with Tesla's recently launched, you know, semi heavy duty truck, it's kind of give Geely a nudge into uh, the aggressive push uh, into commercial vehicles. Pretty ambitious, uh, pretty aggressive. Will it be hard for Geely to extract tech from Dyla? Uh, if you're talking about passenger vehicle tech, it'll be a little bit difficult. Uh, as you know, the Germans are particularly very good at automotive technology, not only Daimler, but BMW and Volkswagen. So it's gonna, it's it's a tightly guarded um, uh, trade secret amongst the Germans. They want to maintain their their brand uh, reputation across the globe. So I, I very highly doubt that it's gonna it's gonna be easy for Geely to extract that that technology. So Steve, just to have this point there, I mean, is there technology to be had when it comes to commercial vehicles? And just, I guess, for, for, for our viewers here, to make it simple, what, what, what's the commercial vehicle line here that they're after specifically when it comes to Daimler? Well, um, right now, the Chinese commercial vehicle makers dominate the Chinese market. Uh, what they lack is really the emission standards, the fuel efficiency, fuel efficiency technologies. Mm. Um, if you look at the Germans or the Americans, you know, you're looking at Euro 6, Euro 7 type of technology. In China, is still around the Euro 5. So there's a lot of uh, improvement that needs to be made uh, in China. But also, the Chinese car, uh, not car buyer, but truck buyers are upgrading. You know, the, the, the logistic industry is growing. They're getting wealthier. Um, they're doing more long-haul mm. shipping. So trucks from, the, from Germany, particularly, um, are, are built for those long-haul uh, shipping. So, um, and that's why Geely's and, and others are probably interested. Right.